All right, hey YouTube people. I'm working on a unique project involving a Raspberry uh, Pi Zero W that has Wi-Fi on it, and using it uh, as both a dash cam and a music storage device on the Tesla. Before I had two thumb drives, but I figure, hey, I can get this to emulate a storage device, um, and then I got thinking, well, that would be really cool if uh, I could kind of automate some of that through the browser, or not automate it, but have control over it on the browser. So I've got a 256 gig card in here, and I've got 32 gigabyte uh, partition uh, emulated in there for music and the rest of it for dash cam footage. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in to my, my Tesla here, Model 3. And it has version 9 with the new software update. So I plug that in. And you can see that the, the Pi Zero is now booting up. And once it boots up, it's going to display itself as uh, a storage device. And that storage device is going to let me play any music I've copied onto here. And also utilize the dash cam. So I'm just going to set that down for now. But I'm just waiting to see that dash cam icon show up that it says, hey, I'm ready to, to record. Um, and then I want to show you the, the, the web interface that I've used to... Um, yep, so now it sees the device. We've got dash cam functionality. We've also, we also should have um, music capability from the USB. Yep, everything's there. Um, so on one plug-in device, I also have my Nomad plugged in, so I'm using a Y splitter on this, so it still has enough power for that. I've tested charging my phone while this is working as well. But anyways, uh, let's go into the web browser again, because the goal is to be able to control all this. Okay, so I've created a, a link, and, and so all I have to do, say I'm out driving, um my car and I get some dashboard footage. Um, I've created this interface, Tesla dash cam sync and music sync. So I'll be able to actually send music from a file. If I manage my, my music file for my Tesla on a computer inside the house, um, it will sync that music to my Pi Zero. And if I sync, uh, if I take dash cam footage, it will send that dash cam footage off to a server in the house as well. So the cool thing about this is you have control over it. If you just want to drive around with this in and let it act as a USB drive for your dash cam and your music, that you, that's all you have to do. It doesn't, doesn't do anything else. But <coughs> if you go and <coughs> you are able to connect onto this interface and watch, watch this icon up here. If I want, I can unmount the drives from the Tesla. So I'll click that. And you can see the dash cam disappeared. You know, make the fonts bigger. It's kind of small in here. Uh, so now I was like, oh, well, I, I mounted the drives. I can take my Raspberry Pi off. Uh, let's go ahead and mount it back to the Tesla. So this command um, makes an image now back and available. You can see it's back. We've got the dash cam footage. Okay, good to go. So this final uh, button will dismount the Raspberry Pi storage and give access to the Raspberry Pi um, back access to that storage. It will mount uh, those FAT32 containers and it'll actually sync them to the server. So uh, to test that, let's go ahead and I'm just going to back forward and, and, and back just to make sure the dash cam starts recording. So I'm just going to back up and okay great um and now i'll go into drive and i'll stop and i'm gonna park the car and this is just to get some dash cam footage then i'll hit my button and it says okay i'm i'm saving the dash cam footage we got a check mark so we've saved saved our footage so now what I'm going to do is actually sync everything. But before I do that, I want to show you this is this is my computer that has the uh, the share set up. 
and this is um, so I've got Tesla Cam and Tesla Music. If I put things in the music folder, they will sync to the Tesla. If I put if I um, take dash cam footage, it will come over to this folder. So you can see it's right now it's completely empty. So I I can pull up and I can say, okay, I want to sync my dash cam. I'm in my car, so I know the car's not going to turn off. So it's a good time to do this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it says, prepare to wait until your dash cam icon reappears. This may take several minutes. So it, it, it's actually running that sync process if you see that, that uh, dash cam disappear, dash cam icon. And um, the, unfortunately, the way that this is coded, it, it doesn't give you a, any sort of progress indicator, unfortunately. But it will give you a, a printout of what happened once it finishes. So you just have to be a little bit patient here while it copies um, items from the dash cam over. But it will tell you when it is done. Okay, so you can see that it's copying over a bunch of our dash cam footage of us kind of pulling out and then pulling back in. The, the point is that all of these copied over. And um, we can see our dash cam is now back. So once it finishes, it comes back online and it's done. It remounts itself and we were able to get everything we needed. Uh, without having to pull uh, the Raspberry Pi out of the car or, you know, have to really do a whole lot. Let's go ahead and push that again for fun. Uh, so you can see the dash cam disappears. And what it's doing in the background is just uh, remounting the the storage device to the Raspberry Pi, and then the Raspberry Pi is us using rsync to send those files over to the to the server over here and then once it's done it comes back online and you can see okay please wait until this heat dash cam icon appear uh, sending list uh, preparing to correct and now initiating drives and it's back on, back online so the cool thing is this can all happen from your Tesla. Uh, you don't have to uh, use anything else. So kind of a cool project to use a, a Pi Zero, uh, not only just for having two partitions um, to work, run music and dash cam, but also to sync your music and to sync your, your dash cam over to this device without having it have to leave the car. You can just leave it right in here. So, um, I, I, it needs work, uh, but this is kind of more of a proof of concept that this can be done. I'm not the best programmer in the world. Uh, I tend to be able to get things to happen, but, you know, an interface and, and packaging it, I'm not, I'm not the best person at that. I've got, uh, I mean, I can help you out if you've got some, if you want to play around with this, um, I can tell you what I've done to do that. I've got some notes. Um, but uh, I think someone could really run with this. Um, there, there was already a project that kind of inspired me on this, uh, posted on Reddit that does a little bit of this automatically, but it's only for the dash cam. It doesn't include music syncing or doesn't include multiple partitions on that Raspberry Pi, but, um, it's kind of a really cool way to interact with your, your model three. And I hope you enjoy this project. And I hope someone can kind of run with this concept and make it a lot easier for people to do. But anyways, thanks for watching uh, my Raspberry Pi Zero dash cam and music wireless sync controlled by the Model 3 itself. And thanks for watching.